Hello, this is Dr. Ayanshola Ugunele, Astronautics for Exploit. Asteroid missions, missions to uncover priceless assets. The focus points of my presentation are as follows. Purpose of asteroid missions, past, present, and future asteroids missions. The ever increasing demand for resources by humans due to population explosion over the years to satisfy humans' appetite to know what lies farther in space and to extract abundant natural resources abound in space is propelling the urge to explore the countless worlds in the outer space. Asteroids left over from the formation of the solar system which is assumed to begin at about 4.6 billion of years ago when a big cloud and dust collapsed and most of the materials fell to the center of the cloud and formed the sun, have been turned into by the researchers and scientific communities for space resources to satisfy the resources need of the Earth. Technological advancement and investment into asteroid mining missions will enable mining of asteroids fast resources which is estimated to worth billions of dollars so as to become a possibility. Several decades ago, some asteroid missions have been embarked upon. Presently, there are ongoing asteroid missions and some of the missions are slated for the future. There are different resonators for embarking on asteroid missions. Some of these resonators are to effectively respond in case of detection of a new and potential asteroid impact, to take samples of the asteroids so as to see if they sustained any organic life and possibly water and to extract samples for economic purposes. Also, asteroid missions have been embarked upon to help us understand the origins of life, to help scientists investigate how planets are formed and our life began, as well as to improve our understanding of asteroids that could impact the Earth. Some of the asteroids' past missions are Rosetta and Ville, International Cometary Explorer, Procyon, Dawn, Deep Impact, Ayabusa, Stardust, Near Earth Asteroid Rendezvous, and Galileo. Present asteroid missions a double asteroid redirection test, Osiris Race, Ayabuzi 2, New Wise, New Horizons, and Luzi. Some asteroid missions are also slated for the future, and some of them are Near Scout, Psych, New Zovio, and Comet Interceptor. Purpose of Asteroid Missions Asteroid missions are designed to perform specific tasks such as to take samples of the asteroids to see if they sustained any life and possibly water and to extract samples for economic benefits to the humankind. It is also believed that asteroids can help us understand the origin of life. This picture shows artist impression of the Deep Impact spacecraft mission. Goals of asteroid missions. Asteroid missions have been embarked upon to airports and the scientists to investigate the planets formed and our life began, as well as to improve our understanding of asteroids which could impact the Earth. Asteroid mission goals differ from one another. The goal might be to test new technologies, that is, technology demonstration probe, and might be a sample return for analysis of its composition. This picture shows an artist's rendering of NASA's near-Earth asteroid rendezvous spacecraft at Asteroid Eros. Different asteroid missions have been embarked upon in the past, have been embarked upon presently, and will be embarking upon in the future. Some of the asteroid past missions are Rosita, Dawn, Ayabusa, while some of the present missions are Darth, Osiris, and Ayabusa too. In the future, it is hoped to embark on the missions near Scout, Psych, and New Zoveo. This picture shows illustration 
depicting the metal rich asteroid Zyke. There are different past, present, and future asteroid missions, and some of them are highlighted as follows Past asteroid missions Near Earth Asteroid and Death Force, Galileo, Rosetta and Villain, Prusion, Deep Impact, International Cometary Explorer, Hayabusa, Muzisi, Dawn, Stardust, and Juzi and Circuit Gate. Each of these past asteroid missions is explained below. Near at Asteroid Renders for Near, which was launched on February 17, 1996, was a robotic space probe designed to study the near Earth asteroid errors from close orbit over a period of a year. It was the first spacecraft to successfully orbit an asteroid and first to land on an asteroid. It returned valuable data for about two weeks. This picture shows near Earth asteroid errors as seen from the near spacecraft. Nia's primary goal was to render for with the minor planet 433 Eros, about 355 million kilometers from the Earth, and to gather data on its physical properties, mineral components, internal mass distribution, and magnetic field. Nia performed a 25-minute flyby of the asteroid through 253 method on June 27, 1997. The spacecraft was the first to rely on solar cells for power during operations beyond Mars orbit. This picture shows an artist trending of NASA's near Earth asteroid renders for. Galileo is also one of the past asteroid missions. Galileo was a robotic space probe that studied the planet Jupiter and its moons, as well as the asteroids Gaspar and Ida. Galileo spacecraft delivered into Earth orbit on October 18, 1989 by Space Shuttle Atlantis was consisted of an orbiter and an entry probe. It arrived at Chebiru on December 7, 1995 after gravitational assist flybys of Venus and Earth and became the first spacecraft to orbit an outer planet. This picture shows artist rendering of NASA's Galileo spacecraft flying past Jupiter's moon Leo. Galileo made multiple close approaches to the volcanically active moon during its time at Jupiter, including a first pass in December 1995 during its arrival in the Jupiter system. Rosetta and Vili is another past asteroid mission. Rosetta was a space probe built by the European Space Agency and launched on 2nd March 2004, it arrived at Comet 67P churimov gerasimenko on 6th August 2014. Along with Vili, Rosetta's lander model performed a detailed study of Comet 67P churimov gerasimenko During its journey to the comet, the spacecraft performed flybys of Earth Mars and the asteroids 21 Lutetia and 2867 stands. This picture shows illustration of Rosetta and Vili at the comet. Rendez forward with a comet. Rosetta is the first mission in history to rendez forward with a comet, escort it as it orbits the sun, and deploy a lander to its service. On its way to Comet 67P, Rosetta passed through the main asteroid bed and made the first European close encounter with several of the primitive objects. Rosetta was the first spacecraft to fly close to Jupiter's orbit using solar cells as its main power source. This picture shows artist's impression of SS Rosetta's spacecraft shortly before eating Comet 67P on 30 September 2016. Proximate object close flyby with optical navigation, Prozion, is another past asteroid mission. It was launched with Ayabuza 2. The mission was a 50 kg class microsatellite, which was tacked with performing a close flyby observation 
within 50 kilometers of an asteroid. The mission returned to Earth near the end of 2015 with a solo electric propulsion system where its ion engine failed to perform a deep space maneuver to change its trajectory toward its target asteroid 2000 DP107. This picture shows illustration of micro deep space explorer Prozion. Demonstration of a microsatellite ball system for deep space exploration was the primary mission of Prozion. Its advanced mission was to perform a close flyby of an asteroid and the scientific observation mission. This picture shows conceptual image of the Prozion spacecraft and Comet 67P. Deep Impact is another past asteroid mission. It was a NASA space probe launched from launched on January 12, 2005. It was designed to study the interior composition of the Comet Temple 1, 9P Temple, by releasing an impactor into the Comet Impact Crater. On July 4, 2005, the impactor successfully collided with the Comet's nucleus. The impact excavated debris from the interior of the nucleus, forming an impact crater. This picture shows an artist's impression of the deep impact spacecraft. International Cometary Explorer is another past asteroid mission. High C was launched on 12 August 1978 into a heliocentric orbit. It was the first spacecraft to fly past the comet coming within 7,900 kilometers of Comet Giacobini Zina. Although IC had no cameras, it detected water and carbon monoxide, confirming the theory that comets are similar to dirty snowballs. This picture shows an artist's impression of NASA's IC spacecraft. Dawn is another past asteroid mission. The mission was designed to characterize the conditions and processes of the solar system's earliest epoch, 4.5 billion years ago, by investigating in detail two of the largest asteroids, Ceres and Vesta, which reside between Mars and Jupiter in the asteroid belt. Long found water-bearing minerals on Vesta's surface and abundant water ice and organics on Ceres. This picture shows illustration of Dawn spacecraft. Ayabusa Moses C is another past asteroid mission. It was the world's first sample and return mission to asteroid Itokawa. Its primary goal was to acquire and verify technology, which is necessary to retrieve samples from a small body in the solar system and to bring them back to the Earth. The spacecraft was designed to rendezvous well with asteroid 25143 Itokawa, touched them and took some amount of samples. This picture shows Ayabusa asteroid probe. Stardust is another past asteroid mission. It was a 390 kilogram robotic space probe launched by NASA on 7 February 1999. Its primary mission was to collect dust samples from the coma of Comet Y2, as well as samples of cosmic dust, and return them to the Earth for analysis. It was the first sample return mission of its kind. En route to Comet Y2, it also flew by and studied the asteroid 5535 Anne Frank. Attic's concept of stardust nearing Earth is shown in this picture. Zuzin and Sakigate is another past asteroid missions. They are nearly identical Japanese spacecraft designed to fly by Ali's comet and study its effect on space environment. Sakigate was launched on January 7, 1985, followed by Suzy on August 18, 1985. The two headed for comet Ali, passing by it and returning ultraviolet images and measurements of its interaction with the solar wind. This picture shows illustration of Susie's spacecraft.
some of the present asteroid missions are as follows that Osiris, New Wines, Ayabuza 2, Luzi, and New Origin, Horizons. Each of them is explained as follows. Double Asteroid Direction Test DART is a NASA space mission aimed at testing a method of planetary defense against near Earth objects. That was launched in November 2021, and the mission was designed to deliberately crash a space probe into the minor planet Moon Demovos of the double asteroid Demos to assess the future potential of a spacecraft impact to deflect an asteroid on a collision course with Earth through a transference of momentum. This picture shows illustration of the DART impactor spacecraft and Lysia cave approaching Demovos. DART is the first planetary defense mission to test a method of deflecting an asteroid on course to eat Earth. The threat from asteroid impact is small but real and preventable. Missions like that are essential to help us understand how to stop dangerous asteroids from eating the Earth. This picture shows illustration of the dark spacecraft orbiting an asteroid. Osiris is another present asteroid mission. It is a NASA asteroid studying and sample return mission. Osiris mission's primary goal is to obtain a sample of at least 60 grams from 101955 Beno, a carbonaceous near Earth asteroid, and return the sample to Earth for a detailed analysis. This picture shows illustration of Osiris mission. The material returned from asteroid Beno is expected to enable scientists to learn more about the formation and evolution of the solar system, its initial stages of planet formation, and the source of organic compounds that led to the formation of life on Earth. Osiris was launched on 8th September 2016, flew past Earth on 22nd September 2017, and then forced with Beno on 12 December 2018. This picture shows, along with rocks and dust, the spacecraft capture precision data to better predict the near-Earth object's orbit around the Sun. Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer NEOWISE is another present asteroid mission which is ongoing. NASA's WISE spacecraft was an infrared wavelength astronomical space telescope active from December 2009 to February 2011. In September 2013, the spacecraft was assigned a new mission as NEOWISE to help find near-Earth asteroids and comets. NEOWISE hunts near-Earth objects from low-Earth orbit. The spacecraft orbits Earth once every 95 minutes, 15 times per day. This picture shows an artist concept of NASA's WISE NEOWISE spacecraft. Ayabuza 2 is another present asteroid mission. Ayabuza 2 is an asteroid sample return mission spacecraft that study asteroid Rugo from June 2018 to November 2019, collected samples and brought them to Earth for analysis. The spacecraft is on an extended mission to asteroid 1998 KY26. Ayabuza 2 landers dispatched a series of landers and a penetrator and it collected multiple samples from the asteroids. This picture shows an artist's depiction of the Ayabuza 2 spacecraft, Persenia Art. Lucy is another present asteroid mission. Lucy is a NASA space probe on a 12-year journey to eight different asteroids, visiting a main belt asteroid as well as seven Jupiter Trojans, asteroids which share Jupiter's orbit around the Sun orbiting either ahead of or behind the planet. All target encounters will be flyby encounters. NASA's Lucy mission, launched in October 2021, is the first visit to a group of asteroids called Trojans that share Jupiter's orbit around the Sun. This picture shows artist concept depicting the Lucy spacecraft flying past the Trojan asteroid. New Horizons is another present asteroid mission. 
is an interplanetary space probe launched in 2006 with the primary mission to perform a flyby study of the Pluto system in 2015 and the secondary mission to fly by and study one or more other copper bed objects in the decade to follow. It is the fifth space probe to achieve the escape velocity needed to leave the solar system. This picture shows illustration of new horizons. Future asteroid missions are Near Scout, New Zovia, Comet Interceptor, and Psyche. Near Scout is a NASA mission slated to be launched in 2022. It is designed to use a solar cell spacecraft to visit a near Earth asteroid. Near Scout is designed to demonstrate a low cost method of asteroid reconnaissance for human and robotic missions and add to the human scientific knowledge of small worlds. This picture shows illustration of near south with the solar cell deployed at, as it flies by its asteroid destination. Near Sophia is another future asteroid. It's a planned space-based infrared telescope designed to survey the solar system for potentially hazardous asteroids. The new Soviet spacecraft will survey from the sun at Lagrange Point, allowing it to look close to the sun and see objects inside Earth's orbit. The mission will be a successor to the new one's mission. An artist's concept of new Soviet in orbit is shown in this picture. Comet Interceptor is another future asteroid mission. It will be the first European mission to comet and, to, and it will combine breakthrough technology in new comet discoveries to reveal information about pristine comets entering the inner solar system. It will consist of three spacecraft which will give a unique model point snapshot. Measurement of the comet solar wind interaction region complementing single spacecraft observations made at other comets. This picture shows illustration of Comet Interceptor. The mission's primary science goal is to characterize for the first time a dynamically new comet or interstellar object, including its surface composition, shape and structure, and the composition of its gas coma. Advances in technology are now making Comet Interceptor mission a possibility. This picture shows artists in impression of Comet Interceptor. Psyche is another asteroid mission that is slated for the future. It's a planned orbital mission that will explore the origin of planetary cores by studying the metallic asteroid of the same name. NASA planned to launch the Psyche mission no earlier than 2023. Psyche is thought to be an exposed core of a newly formed planet. It is believed that the Psych mission will help us better understand how the interiors of Earth, Mars, and other rocky planets are formed. This picture shows an illustration of NASA's Psych spacecraft, which is targeted to be launched to the main asteroid belt in August 2022 for the investigation of the Metal Ridge asteroid Psych. For more information, contact Astronautics for Export. You've been watching and listening to Asteroid Missions, missions to uncover priceless assets, presented by Dr. Ayanshala Ogundele of Astronautics for Exploit. Thank you.